Okay, real quick, I want to hit the highlights on these liquid culture jars. Basically, we have a small mason jar with a airtight synthetic filter disc on the top and some sort of an injection port on the other side. So here's our filter disc and our injection port. For a couple different styles, I'm going to try to do some that are really inexpensive for you. Um, the main thing we're going to need is the synthetic filter disc. That's going to be from any mycology supply place or even Amazon has them now. Or you could probably use some Tyvek, but you'd have to find a source for some free Tyvek envelopes. Then, a little bit of the silicone, tube like that, Walmart, um, any do-it-yourself store, four or five bucks maybe. The high temperature RTV gasket maker from Permatex. Also runs four or five bucks for a tube, Walmart or any auto supply place. The marinade injector from Walmart, it's barbecue egg aisle, um, 88 cents. Not only is a giant ass 60cc syringe that'll go through the PC, it also comes with a really big horse needle there that has a lot of uses. We'll get to that too. Then we're going to need a little bit of the, what is this, soft aluminum tube can't see it. Number 5073 from Hobby Lobby. Also has a 40% off coupon on their app every week. Uh, the soft tubing is what's actually going to go through the jar here and extend our reach all the way down to the bottom. Because what normally happens is without the tubing we have a jar with the liquid culture in there. I've dyed it red for the sake of the photography actions here. Um, now, since we have to allow room for the liquid culture to expand while it's being pressure cooked, it's going to boil, and so you don't want to touch the top, you don't want it to leak out, and you don't want to touch your filter material. So you can only fill a liquid culture jar to half its capacity. So if this jar holds 250 milliliters, we've only got 120 or 125 milliliters of material in there. Because with a regular lid, if you put the needle in there, it, it doesn't reach the material, doesn't reach the mycelium, so you have to tilt the jar and then jack around with it to get it right, and then after you start drawing out, you have to tilt it more and more. But with the no tilt lid, so then the needle is going to go into the injection port, which is sealed with silicone. Now you don't have to tilt the lid, and you can pull the liquid up into the syringe. Pop that out, you can flame treat that needle, then use your mycelium to inoculate either other jars of liquid culture or your grains.